guys welcome back to my channel I'm kind of feeling myself today because I just did my hair I have not worn any type of braid or twist since I was like 13 so I feel so young and fresh with this style I really really love it unfortunately I did not film it I'm so sorry but <laughs> there are a million um, faux lock tutorials on YouTube and I use the Jazz Nicole wrap method. Um, I did say when I do a touch up, I would film that, but I'm waiting on my lighting to come. So I promise I'm gonna do kind of like an updated um, version of this style. It's really easy though. I just did like individual braids and then I took the crochet hair and wrapped it around my natural hair. As far as the hair that I used, um, I actually ordered this off of Amazon and it didn't have a brand name on it, but I will leave the link down below for you guys. Um, it's really light, I'm loving it. But I wanted to do this video because you guys have been asking me to do pregnancy updates. Um, I'm now in my seventh month and Ooh, time is just winding down guys I'm just I'm so nervous I'm getting really anxious and yeah I'm just like ready to get this over with um, but I wanted to do this video because um, I had a little bit of a scare this past weekend um, it's so funny when I did my last video um, I told you guys that yeah you know my pregnancy has been really easy no pain no sickness it's been a breeze which it has I haven't had any issues with my pregnancy but, but last week I started feeling this pain in my side so I started to do research and I found everything from like it being maybe a hemorrhoid or it being um, maybe a bladder infection or like some type of, I thought it was gonna be some type of infection because the pain came out of nowhere. So over the course of that day, uh, the pain got worse and worse and worse and worse. So I'm like, okay, I think it's time for me to go to the emergency room. And I, I have a very high tolerance for pain. So for me to go to the hospital, yeah, the pain was that bad. So um, I checked into the emergency room. They did urine samples and all of the blood tests and stuff like that. And they couldn't really figure out what it was. Around uh, four that morning um, when I stayed overnight, they did an ultrasound and they found three large fibroids next to my baby. And man, like I, I didn't, I, I had a feeling that I had fibroids but they never bothered me until now. Like uh, in high school, I always had heavy periods, really, really bad cramping. Um, but as I've gotten older, those have gone away. So I just never really thought to do a physical and for check for fibroids, because they just never bothered me. But uh, the fibroids actually cause contractions. So I was actually contracting every two minutes by the time I got to the hospital. And um, when they told me that, I was like, I kind of panicked because when I think of contractions, I'm thinking, oh, I'm, I'm about to give birth like right now. So I ended up staying over the course of the weekend just to make sure that I did not go into labor, which I didn't. Um, my cervix was closed. Everything was good. They just had to give me medication to um, uh, slow the contractions down. So yeah, that was a, an eye opener for me because I never had really done any research on anything based on if I were to go into early, early labor, anything. I don't really know too much about fibroids. I know that most women have them and they shrink over time. And as you get older, they shrink. But the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I feel like, you know, even though fibroids are really common, I just feel like we're not educated on them. And I didn't know that they grow during pregnancy because they feed off of the pregnancy hormone. So, you know, that hospital trip could have been avoided. Um, it's just I didn't have any knowledge on, on them. And I'm glad now that I know what's going on because um, I didn't know I had them. And I have three big ones. Actually, I have more than three, but the three that were really painful are the ones that um, caused the contraction. They're really, I think she said they were like five centimeters each but I can feel the lump in my side. So um, yeah, they're big enough where I can feel them. So that is pretty much it. Um, I really just wanted to do this video to share my experience and also someone may be watching this and maybe going through the same thing and they don't know what's going on because I honestly, I was so afraid um, 
that something was wrong with my baby because I was in so much pain. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? You know, so everything is good. So, you know, um, I just really wanted to, like I said, share this because I feel that, you know, like I said, this is something so common, but a lot of women don't talk about it. And that this could have saved the trip to the hospital because I could have just called my OB like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm in this pain. Can I take some medicine and be on my way? Because I, I spent the whole weekend in, in the hospital. So, um, yeah, that experience was kind of scary, but um, everything is good and baby is good. And I'm just counting down until August. But uh, I'm actually about to go and film a styling the bump video so i have three looks that i'm going to share with you guys oh and i have these new sunglasses that i just got in that are so cute that i want to show you guys too <laughs> hey kiki get it kiki hey yeah i just had to share these glasses because i love them you guys know i'm obsessed with glasses but yeah real quick just got these in oh my god i love them they're really lightweight and they just look so expensive so these are retro you guys know i live for an oversized look these are really cute as well i think i showed you guys these already also got these mirror glasses in too mm -hmm. love them <laughs> 